Hi, Mike here from Mertzke Custom Woodworking. As some of you know, I own a Shapoko 2 and use it on some of my commission woodworking projects. Inventables recently released their new model of CNC, the X-Carve. One of the great things about the X-Carve is that it's backwards compatible with the Shapoko 2, so they offer an upgrade kit for it. You can check out their website for a bunch of other options to customize your CNC. This video is to show how I not only upgraded my CNC to the X-Carve, but also expanded its footprint to a custom size. Since Inventables has an entire series of videos showing pretty good detail of every step of the assembly, I just wanted to show more of an overview of the assembly and then talk about some of the highlights and then some of my future plans for upgrades. The X-Carve upgrade kit came in one box and included all the parts to transform the Shape Oko 2 into the X-Carve. The main items upgraded in the X-Carve is the new one-piece X-Carriage, redesigned Y-plates, N-plates, and Z-motor mount. The kit also includes a newly designed belt tensioning system for the GT2 belting. I also ordered new extrusions and maker slide to upgrade the Y-axis of my X-Carve. As I mentioned earlier, Inventables has videos showing every step of the assembly along with written tutorial with photos. At first I was a little surprised there wasn't any upgrade instructions, but soon realized that to properly upgrade the machine it was best just to take it apart and then build the X-Car from the ground up. So without further ado, let's start taking this thing apart. You'll notice as I begin to take it apart that I'm trying to keep as many of the components together. Well, that is until I realized that it was best to just completely disassemble it. Once my Shape Oko 2 is disassembled, I took the assembly of the X-Carve step by step. I found that by laying out each of the parts needed for the next step to help make each step go quite a bit faster. Having the X-Carriage made of one piece of aluminum really adds to the rigidity of it and makes assembly a lot easier when compared to how the Shapeoko 2 X-Carriage was constructed.
To extend the y-axis of my x-carve, I'm taking some 1000mm maker slide and cutting it down to about 660mm on the miter saw. I use stop locks to make sure I get repeatable and accurate cuts for each section of maker slide I cut down. This is going to make my total work area about 12 by 18 inches. Since the upgrade kit didn't come with the new self-tapping screws that the X-Carve uses, I have to tap the new sections of Maker Slide. The biggest change I noticed with the new redesign of the Y plates is that the maker slide attaches towards the back of the plate, which in turn centers the gravity of the spindle, or in my case the Makita router I use, and it also adds a little bit of additional cutting surface to the machine. The aluminum extrusions are cut down the same way and attached to the front and rear end plates. Routing the GT2 belting is slightly different on the X-Carve due to the adjustments in the placement of the smooth idler wheels and the addition of the belt tensioner. I did notice a little bit of slipping going on when I added tension to the belts, but it was quickly fixed by just using small zip ties at each end. I started to use the original lead screw and Delrin nut that had come with the Shape Oko 2, but ended up switching back to an aftermarket Acme lead screw with lower plate and bearing I had purchased for online from another vendor. Now this vendor charges twice what Inventable charges for their upgraded Acme lead screw, and in reality the bottom bearing doesn't really serve a purpose since the four V-wheels on the spindle carriage is what really keeps the Z-axis travel from being sloppy. But at this point I'm going to use what I have, and I was able to figure out a way of using the Z-axis knob and crank by inverting the pulleys on the Z-axis motor. The wiring for the X-Carve is definitely easier than I thought it was for the Shapeoko 2, but I'm really regretting not ordering the drag chain kit and will definitely be adding that to my list of things to order. Cable management without it is kind of a pain and over time it will probably lead to some issues.
Other than extending the one axis of the machine, I'm also adding additional support to the base of the machine where the waste board is attached. Now this might be a little bit of overkill, but just wanted to make sure that I have as flat of a working surface as possible. I'm using the original waste board from my Shapoko 2 since the extended working area is still within the edges of this 500mm waste board. With everything assembled, it's time for a little test run. So let's jump on easel and design a quick project and fire up the X-Carve. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Or you can find links to contact me by email or any of the social media sites on my website at MertzkeyCustomWoodworking.com. I'd also like to take this time to thank Inventables for providing me with the Shapeoko 2 upgrade kit and all the parts needed to expand my CNC. I'll also leave a link to their website below. Thanks again and until next time.